Hello, Aries. Thank you for joining me here, Tootsie. This is Snake Lady Tara. I'm going to do your general energy reading. See if we can get you some advice, some messages, some foresight for you over the next few days or so. So I do appreciate your support. Thank you for being here. Maybe you are not Aries. Maybe you have Aries in your birth chart. Maybe you're in a relationship, in love, or just interested in Aries energy. Nevertheless, cross washers are welcome as well. Thank you for your support also. Um, you guys, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification button and you won't miss out on any future readings. And tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. All right, it's a new channel. The likes are more important to the algorithm, so please be sure to like the video. And feel free to leave a comment down below if it resonates with you. If it doesn't resonate, um, it's a general energy reading. Only take what resonates. Leave what doesn't behind. Leave it for someone else. Okay, don't force the energy. Do not force the square into a circle. Gender roles do not apply. And feel free to swap the energy roles, okay? Aries, maybe I'm reading uh, the energy around you. It happens. I don't know your lives personally. So let's go ahead and get into it. Messages, advice for Aries. What does Aries need to know? Messages, advice for Aries. Positivity. Mm -hmm. Turn away. Feelings and solitude. All right. Aries, positivity, shining bright, feeling good, looking good, feeling good, right? I realize we're in Pisces season now, but for you, Aries, I feel as though this is a new cycle for you. This is new energy. I feel as though you feel light, you feel lighthearted, you feel open hearted and open minded here. I'm ready for change. And you are turning away from solitude. You're turning away from your feelings. Um, you're turning away from this deep, dark energy, from this cold energy. And in comes the light, in comes the warmth, in comes the positivity. All right. Good vibes only is what I'm getting for you here. Um, like you're on a mission. All right. Feels like you're on a mission. Bottom of the deck, relaxation which feels like your overall vibe. Here's the warmth coming in, all right? Um, it's rejuvenation, um, restoration even, all right? All right, Aries. Messages, advice for Aries. What does Aries need to know? So we had to change the stuff again. <clears throat> Fire energy. Messages, advice. What does Aries need to know? Our fire folk. Aries, very intuitive. There's not much you don't already know. For those of you that watch the tarot readings, I feel as though it's just a confirmation at this point. It just kind of is a reminder for you that you're on point. Um, I'm feeling a lot of high priestess, empress energy for you right now. Energy cleanse. Apology. Hot and cold. There are people around you that aren't appreciating your good energy right now. Um, because, because they're witnessing your change right now, because they are seeing you turn away from solitude, they're seeing you turn away from your feels, your emotions. Um, you're very matter of fact, very practical right now, logical. 
And I feel the other energy is kind of turning their nose up, right? Um, intrigued. Um, not like turning your nose down like they're better than, not with that, or like, you know, you can't sit with us, but they're turning their nose up like interested, right? Like a dog getting a whiff of some biscuits, like just interested, right? Um, it's prompting an energy to cleanse. It's prompting them to balance themselves because they're probably going to come forth with an apology. It's going to be the end of this hot and cold energy. Um, they may feel some kind of way. They may be fighting with themselves on this, um, struggling kind of self-sabotage. Um, but once that energy cleanse is completed, you'll re receive an unexpected message with an apology, um, because they're having a sort of a karmic lesson here. All right. And some hidden emotions. All right. Let's see if we can get some clarity messages, advice for Aries. Our fire folk messages about what you need to know. Mm -hmm. They can do it too. That's how they feel. I can. I can do what Aries is doing. I can move how Aries is moving. I could have did that. So that's, that's the kind of energy we kind of get there. waking up thank you say good morning Aries mm -hmm. all right Aries messages advice what do you need to know We have tolerance, we have freedom, we have create, passion, celebration, and I love you. So between tolerance and freedom, it's a new understanding. I feel like you've even had an energy cleanse yourself here, Aries. Um, you're creating positive energy. You're creating a new vibe of relaxation. All right. Um, you're changing the energy in your environment. Um, I feel like we're going to get a world card. We're going to get a hanged man of sorts but I feel as though it, it's not even like your perception has changed it's your it is your perception but it's also your overall view it's your overall feelings um you turned away from the the f wanting to feel s by yourself hermit energy solitude um wanting to regress into dependent energy like into independent energy and this is giving more of like a cooperation, a collaboration. This is giving um, partnership energy. This is uh, giving an offer. Like you, like now you're opening up to opportunities, offers, um, new paths, um, new ideas, just new energy. You're open and putting yourself in the position to accept and to receive. All right. Um, bottom of the deck, revolutionary. Sorcery revolution. And again, followed by creation. All right. Paying attention 
you're paying attention to loyalty here and you feel blessed you you feel blessed there's a lot of gratitude here as well i love this for you aries this is feeling good it looks good it feels good all right let's go ahead and line this up and i feel as though you're definitely opening up to some sort of a new love energy all right um you're allowing yourself clarification you're allowing yourself growth you're allowing yourself um sort of to even it feels like it's it's a path you've been down before right because we have karmic lesson you've been here before you maybe you've closed yourself off to this idea of being open being vulnerable is what i'm getting um but it's a change it's like a hot and cold switch um it could be like spring energy um we are in pisces season i know like with spring season it's usually like spring cleaning you're usually dusting off curtains and doing cleaning that you never done before polishing <laughs> polishing like the china and <laughs> i can't think of the word but like the railing going down the staircase and the little ball at the bottom of the steps like you're just polishing off the things that don't usually get the day-to-day -day cleaning um but it's just like you're just tidying up you know you're um dotting your eyes crossing your t's and taking care of business very much um, emperor energy here, Aries. Uh, control, action, fierceness. You can literally fill the fire in your reading here. All right. So what do we have for you today? I am a spirit having a human experience and I am getting closer to love. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. Yeah, so you wanted this change. You, you made this decision, Aries, to move forward. You made this decision um, to get out of your feelings, to get out of this solitude energy. All right. Um, the decision was yours, I'm getting. All right, so... Aries, Emperor, Justice. All right, let's get into it. Messages, advice, what does it just need to know? Messages, advice for Aries. And I definitely feel like you made this decision. Um, you know, they say you just happiness is a decision. It's a choice. Happiness is a choice. You choose to be happy. It's not something that falls upon you. That's what I feel this is for you. It's like you, it's like you choosing peace. You're choosing love. You're choosing freedom, celebration, passion, and you're choosing to tolerate things. You're choosing not to tolerate things. Seven of Swords is your personality. This is you choosing not to tolerate, choosing to be happy, choosing. <laughs> you are choosing freedom and choosing love and celebration and walking away from the solitude, walking away from your negative feels, any type of um, stagnant, stuck type of energy. Um, your mental in, uh, what's in your memory, what you're thinking about when, uh, thinking about when you look back and reflect Ace of Swords, you're thinking back on opportunities, opportunities of decision, opportunities of choices, God bless you, opportunities of 
it's, it's almost even like triumphs. It's like it wins. Like you're thinking back on when you were winning, when you won, when you were victorious, triumphant. Um, you're thinking back on previous victories. Mental inclination, what's weighing heavy on your mind? King of Wands, fire energy, authority, decisions, planning, preparing, handling business. Um, mentally, you're on your game. Nothing is getting past you. Nothing is coming up that you're not prepared for at this time. All right. And what you're in the mood for, more choices, more options, more collaboration, more opportunity, more partnership, more hands in the pot. What's weighing heavy on your heart? What's in your heart matters? The chariot. Quick action. You're done thinking about it. You're done planning, deciding. You're ready to start creating. You're ready for the creation to begin. You've tolerated enough thought going into this. You've tolerated enough. What what else could what what what's the worst that could happen? What else can I do? Like the options. Five of Cups. And this is your physical, mental, spiritual health here. This is your health placement here. Five of Cups. Change. It's it's the it's the choices, it's the decisions. You're choosing to change. So you're making changes with your health. You're choosing not to do these bad habits anymore. You're choosing not to be around these people that stress you out, cause you physical stress, which harms your health. You're choosing not to have drama, back and forth arguments, this hot and cold. That's why you let people go. You turned away from solitude and you're moving back towards happiness, towards passion. You're moving back towards your freedom to celebrate, your freedom to enjoy life. So a lot of changes here. Um, and I feel like you're winning. You're winning here. The choices you're making are for your better interests. They're for your health. You plan on being here, right? You plan on leaving your mark. King of Cups. These are the people around you in your society, your community, family, friends, lovers, neighbors. All right. Who's in your soul tribe here? King of Wands, King of Cups. Your environment is winning, all right? Your environment looks at you with gratitude. Your environment, your community, your society, they look to you to be the creator. You give kind of give them their mental freedom, right? You, if they see your fire and it inspires them, all right? Um, think of the word I want to say for that but yeah what's ending for you nine pentacles this free ride is ending um the free ride where they're just winning because you're winning is over the work has to be done they have to collaborate they have to put in this hot and cold energy it's not going to happen they're going to need that energy cleanse they're going to need to apologize and jump on board You're growing, you, you share, you provide, you protect, you defend. Excuse me, <laughs> but that's coming to an end. Um, I don't foresee Anything they could say really wouldn't change anything. Their feelings really wouldn't make a difference at this point. This is this decision has been made. King of Wands. It's it's done. It's what's done is done.
Yeah, well, it's done, it's done. That's what I'm getting. Messages, advice for Aries. What does Aries need to know? Page of Swords. Spiritual tendencies. There's not much for you to learn. You feel as though, I mean, you learn new things every day, Aries, but when it comes to your spiritual self, you're intuitive, you're aware, you know how you move, you know how you feel. You can control and manage your feelings, your emotions. Not a problem. King of Wands, King of Cups. It's not a problem for you. You are just moving forward. Spiritually, you'll learn as much as you can about the other people around you, the energies. You learn as much as you can about the um, interest you have, the plans, the preparations, these new opportunities and offers, these new paths that you want to take, um, this new freedom. You learn everything about that, but you know who you are spiritually. Mm-hmm. The Empress, this is your work placement, job, career, hobbies, employment, side gigs, side hustles, income streams, whatever this is for you, Aries, Empress, you're managing the shit out of it. You have complete control. You see what's going to happen. You understand what has happened, why it's happened, what caused it. You understand moving forward, consequences for your actions, for your words, very intuitive, very balanced, very much connected with what's going on around you with work. Um, you may be using your insight, I feel, to make changes with work, all right? Because we have Ace of Swords, Five of Cups, and the Empress here. You may be taking the opportunity to make changes with work, something you understand, something you've seen, something you have awareness of, and you may be making a choice, another change here. Right. Desires, wish fulfillments. There it is, baby. What did I tell you? I told you it was coming. Will of fortune. These are your desires, your passions, your wish fulfillments. King of Cups, King of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. You are changing the game. You are changing the environment. All right. Remember this one? I create my energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. And that's you right here. Your focus, King of Wands, King of Cups. You're creating here. Great energy. Great energy. So that's what you desire right now. You're desiring this change. You're bringing this change forward. And you're not allowing anyone to stop you. And you're not allowing anyone to slow you down. Thank you. All right. What's going to prove difficult for you, Aries? What's going to make this difficult? This change? The full. is if you turn away from learning, if you turn away from the preparations, if you turn away from details. Um, you're very detail-oriented, like I said, Empress Energy. You're very aware, very intuitive, very intelligent, connected, balanced. Um, but <laughs> because you're in such strong King Energy and moving quickly here with the chariot you don't want to move too quickly without all the information all right bottom of the deck ace of cups it's a genuine offer it's a genuine wish fulfillment you genuinely want this change you're genuinely making these decisions these choices i love this for you freedom is yours all right, messages, advice for Aries.
sorry for the little interruption. Mommy duty calls. <laughs> Messages advice from Aries, our fiery Aries. Earth and air dragon represents a perfect balance of heaven and earth. Stay balanced, ground your visions, manifest your hopes and dreams. Just stay balanced. You understand what you want. You know exactly what you want. You know exactly how to get there. You've done the research. You've done the work. It's time to put forth the action. Now you're getting ready to create. And you have the freedom to create. And you're celebrating the freedom to create. This is beautiful energy here. Beautiful, beautiful energy here, Aries. All right. And let's get some angel, angel advice. Angel messages. Angel foresight. What does Aries need to know? Messages, advice for Aries. What does Aries need to know? Angel therapy gives your cares and worries to us angels. Allow us to take your burdens. Yeah, you got all this manifesting happening here, Aries. Let go of worry. Let go of anxiety, fear. There's no place for that while you have these wishes going on. You don't want to block your blessings or create negative energy for yourself. Um, you don't want to bring forth any negative vibes towards your beautiful, beautiful wish manifestations here, okay? And we have all as well. Everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to with hidden blessings. You will soon understand. You're blessed, Aries. What you're doing is blessed. It is blessed by divine. It is blessed by the universe. It's blessed by the by your God. A lot of blessings here. A lot of blessings. All right. I would like to clarify... If you don't mind, I would like to clarify. All right, messages. Address. What does Aries need to know? Sorry, you guys, for the cartoonage. I'm usually done with my readings before this one gets up, but what can you do? <laughs> my apologies in advance. This snake lady tarot is unorganized this morning. Okay. <laughs> I think I spent too much time reorganizing my little setup here. All right, messages, advice for Aries. What does Aries need to know? It's the seven of swords in your personality. You're taking and moving. You're being. You're. You're not being tolerant. You're being intolerant. Four of Pentacles. It doesn't serve you. You're not tolerant. If it's not building you, if it's not near and dear to you, if it's not something you're holding on to, you're letting it go. Four of Pentacles is clarifying Seven of Swords. It doesn't benefit you. What about your memory? Ace of Swords, your last victory, your last win, your last triumph. <laughs> your last trophy. All right, your last win. It's when you felt on top, when you had everything you needed. You had all the love, support. You were financially stable. You were stable with love, joy, laughter, passion, freedom. 
you were free to create. That was your last win. You're reflecting on that. You're thinking back on that and allowing it to fuel your fire here, Aries. King of Wands, mental inclination. Mentally, you're ready. Mentally, you're ready for whatever. War, growth, expansion, which you want to argue. You want to apologize. What do you want to do? You want to chit chat? What do you want to do? You want to eat? What do you need? What do you, what do you want? I got it. All right, what do you want? I got it. I have the strength. I'm ready. I, whatever it is, I got it. Strong. Mentally strong right now, Aries. Head strong, heart strong, physically strong. Three of Cups. You're in the mood for Three of Cups. Collaboration. Working together. Partnership. Um, communication. Eight of Pentacles. You want to collaborate because you want to win. You want to be successful. You want to work hard and you want to collaborate on that. Who else wants to put in some work? Let's work hard. Let's play hard. Who wants to do this? Who's with it? That's your mood right now. All right. You're ready to create. You're ready to build. You're ready to be inspired. Who's ready? We have a chariot in your heart matters placement what weighs heavy on your heart action and fast action quick fast and now you won't be blind you won't be stuck you won't be stagnant you're not stopping for anyone you feel like you've been stopped you feel like you've been stuck in, like imprisoned like you feel like you've been oh that's what's the word i want to say like um for some of you, this new cycle, you're not going back. You're not going back to this energy. Come hell or high water, Aries is not going back. I'm quickly moving away and staying away. This is my world, squirrel, okay? I'm sitting on the chariot now. Off the ground, uh, none of that, okay? You're not allowing people to tell you what you can and cannot do. You're not allowing people to stop your blessings here. This is your opportunity. You are taking full advantage. You're watching everything, taking all the blessings, all the good luck, and it's your time. It is your time. Five of Cups is in your health placement. Mental, physical, spiritual health. Five of Cups. You're making changes. Because your life is, your life is all you have. We have one life. It's not a video game. And does Aries know this? Yes. You're making changes. You want all the opportunities. You want all the wins. You want to be victorious in every sense, even in your health. So you're making changes. Empress Energy, Five of Cups. You will not lose. You will be victorious. This could be more exercise. This could be eating healthy. This could be quitting bad habits, smoking, drinking. This could be um, you acknowledging this devil energy. I don't have a devil energy here, but you acknowledge it and you're making changes. All right. Empress again. King of Cups, the people around you in your society, in your community, your soul tribe, friends, family, lovers, neighbors, co-workers, colleagues, whoever's in your day-to-day -day energy, the people around you, you see them. You expect them to rise to the occasion or step off. They know this about you and you feel as though this is an equal balance. This is connected all the way around. You know what I want. It's like <laughs> it's like um an un it's innate it's unsaid but you know it you don't have to tell them hey it's my time i'm in aries energy 
It's all about fire movement, quick, fast. Right now, we're doing what I want. I'm not listening to anything you want to slow me down with. And I love you. And without saying this, they're just kind of moving at your pace or moving out of the way. They see your strength. <laughs> they see you coming with the lion. And they are either walking behind you, following suit, or they are stepping off, moving out of your way. Nine of Pentacles, something that's ending for you, clarified by Ten of Pentacles. Again, the free ride is over. Blessings are coming in for you. This new victory, this new creation that you're working on, um, I feel as though with the pentacles even, it could be a sense of generational wealth, all right? Um, so there may be some changes here um, where maybe you just want to not focus too much on the creation and also you wouldn't want to lose focus on your stability at home your stability in your structure and your foundation. Um, absolutely. Um, creation, manifesting, new opportunities and taking advantage of these offers. Absolutely. It's going to be for the best. Don't lose focus on what you have. Page of Swords. This is your spiritual tendency here. Mm hmm Spiritually, Aries, you're the magician. Spiritually, you're creating. Um, spiritually, you are in your empress energy, in your high priestess energy. You're connected, you're balanced, you're using your gut instincts, your intuition, your foresight, um, just your empathic abilities to see what's going on around you. Feel what's going on around you. You don't need to be in solitude. You've turned away from that. I'm by myself. This is me, mine. And I have to do this, this, this. And now as a collaborative, as a collective, you're manifesting. You are creating. You're the magician. And everybody's watching. You are the show. You're inspiring everyone. Excuse me. The Empress is with work, job, career, hobbies, goals, projects, the Empress. Oh, you're connected, you're focused, you're making these changes for yourself, physically, mentally, to change your past. You're making <laughs> your focus balanced and tuned in for your family, your society, your community, the people around you here. You're doing this for your love, your love. You don't want anyone to be stuck anymore. I even feel like the people around you were also stuck, blind, stuck, eight of swords energy. They felt like they couldn't move forward, like something was blocking their path, like they didn't know what steps to take. And here comes Aries showing them the way. Follow me, Simba. All right. <laughs> With your fiery torch and your lion. Six of swords moving towards calmer water. That's why these changes are here. Moving towards calmer water, getting out of this drama, getting out of this unknown, getting out of this struggle, getting out of this crab in the barrel energy, moving towards peace, moving towards love, moving towards passion. Um, love. This change is what you desire. This change is what you wish for. It's your wish fulfillment. Wheel of Fortune. You may be wishing to relocate. You may be working hard to save money to move. You may be working hard to create and, um, a legacy to create a uh, hmm. 
to create a working business, a working win, a, another triumph, another victory um, that involves everyone. It involves everyone. The whole community here. But they got to put the work in. They cannot just ride the coattail anymore. And it's going to prove difficult if the focus isn't there. It's going to prove difficult if everyone's going in different directions, if everyone's focused on their own thing. Collaboration is key. Queen of Wands. There's no faking it. There's no faking it till you make it. There's no, you know, let me see where the wind takes me. No, there's focus, there's choices, decisions, and work to be done. Honesty and transparency. There's no fake it till you make it energy. Because you want the sun. <laughs> Clarifying our Ace of Cups. Because our emperor wants to change the world, doesn't he? Our emperor needs a change immediately. Oh, it's going to make you happy. That's why you're so happy. That's why you're lighthearted here. Positive energy. You're in relaxation. Oh, right. You're in relaxation. This is even bringing you closer together. Like I said, for your community here, Aries, we have the Empress. We have the King of Cups. Everyone around you is finding their happiness. They're finding their son. They're finding their opportunities because of you. You're the inspiration. Your freedom, your creation, your freedom to create inspires. Your freedom to love inspires. Your passion inspires. It does. Let's take a look. What's going on with your magic? Let's look at your magic here, Aries. Let's take a look at your magic. Alright, I'm sorry. It was irking me. Let's take a look at your magic. What's going on with you? What advice can you offer? Messages about your pure magic. How to tap into it. And how to get the most. And ground yourself. Ground your visions and stay balanced. All right. How do you let go of your burdens? And how do you see the blessings? Because all is well. All is well. 33, opening a circle. Protection, rituals, lessons, and simplicity. It's very simple. Work hard, play hard. 25, 7, Brigid. Psychic flames, 333. Sacred milk, druid magic. Sorry. And 6, Hecate's path. Cycle of life, night magic, crossroads, and letting go. Letting go. You see what it is. You can see it in the light very clearly. I was telling Pisces yesterday, they can see clearly now. The rain is gone. <laughs> and then I giggled for a little bit because I didn't mean to say that, but it, it's what I meant to say also. So... <laughs> Messages, advice for Aries. What does Aries need to know? I feel like you just need to tap into your magic and be unapologetic about it. Simply move forward. Simply believe in yourself. Simply have faith in yourself and in your journey. You have blessings, guidance. Good luck on your side here.
and the sun. Ace of Cups is your focus. Genuine opportunities. Genuine offers. Real wins. Real victories. Relax. Unplug yourself. And rain, fire, Aries. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for yourself, all right? Rebel gut, messages, advice. What does Aries need to know? You're very rebellious right now. You're not even going against the grain. You're just very unapologetic about it, and I love this. You are taking your freedom. You are demanding it, and you're not apologizing for it. In fact, they should apologize for blocking you from your freedom, right? Um, I, I feel your fire, Aries. I feel it. Your body is mad at you. Get outside. Move your butt. Wake up. You're missing some cool stuff. Stop sleeping so much. So move around. Open your eyes. You may be missing something. There may be something you're not seeing here. Um, we do have the moon here. Um, so there may be something that you don't see. And... You just want to make sure you're focused, but not too focused. Remember, what can prove difficult for you? We have the full clarified by Queen of Wands. So there's, you don't want to not be focused, and then you don't want to be faking it as if you um, aren't missing anything, because you may. If you're too focused, if you have that tunnel vision, you know, you still want to be in your Empress energy, your High Priestess, connected, balanced, intuitive, and um, in touch with what's going on around you. All right, now we have a lot of good energy here as far as love is. Um, you're very concerned with moving forward and continuing to uh, be prosperous, manifesting miracles. Your dream, your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. All right. And we have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed at this very moment. Yeah, you're blessed here. You have you have a blessed energy about you. Um, and people with similar energy that feel guided, blessed with foresight, with empathic ability, are drawn to you. All right, they're drawn to you. Um, like white on rice. All right, like white on rice. Um, Perhaps some exercise is a part of your physical health here. Since we have move around, don't sleep so much. Your body is upset with you. Wake up, you're missing out. Maybe um, this is I'm feeling with regards to your health here. Um, maybe some fresh air is required, right? Even if it's just a walk. Even if it's just a walk. Messages, advice, romance advice. What does Aries need to know? Some of you are in relationships. Some of you are single. Some of you aren't interested because you're focused. Calling in your soulmate. 
your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations are going to help bring you together. For you single Aries, if this is what you're manifesting, continue. Stay in good energy. Do not stop. Keep it moving. You're calling in your soulmate. And we have a past, right, uh, past life relationship. You've known this person before. They see you. They're watching you. They are coming forth. Continue. All right. Don't give up. Whatever you're doing, they are watching. All right. They are watching you. Messages, advice for Aries. What does Aries need to know? Messages, advice for Aries. Alone, abandoned, lonely, lost, but the divine is with you. And we have summer. It's time to see the sunny side and your answers will arrive in the summer. Runner, escape from emotion and confusion on the run. And we have vibration, energy, and positivity. Raise your vibration to attract what you desire. Yeah, if it's not the person from your past that you want back here, Aries, um, you have to visualize what it is you want. What do you want out of a partner? What do you want out of a relationship? What type of a personality do you want your person to have? What type of drive, energy, right? Vibe. Bottom of the deck, sacred space, altar, prayer, candles, commune with your own divinity. All right. So, yes, definitely balance your energy. Um, that's what I have for you today. Listen, Aries, I appreciate you being here. Thank you for your support. I hope this brings you some advice, some messages, some foresight for the next few days or so. You're very strong. You're being strong for the people around you. You're teaching the people around you, showing them your creations and inspiring them. Um, you're turning away from your solitude and being in your feelings and you're moving towards positive. You, you're in, you choose to be positive and you choose to relax and you choose to be unapologetic about it. I love this for you. Thank you for being here, you guys. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, hit the notifications button. You won't miss out on any future readings. And hey, you guys, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. All right. Thanks again. Blessed be.